Creating a new analysis using predefined elements is much easier and faster than creating an analysis from scratch. We only enter the name and select the phantom image and appropriate predefined elements. In the case of A and B and width angle measurements, these two predefined measurements are selected and inserted into the analysis type. A number of new elements appear in the structure tree. Some of these are visible and some are not. If the elements shown on the image are sufficient for creating the analysis, the view can be saved to the analysis layer. Let's prepare the print layer now. All the elements are hidden by default. The elements that need to be visible on the printout are displayed on the phantom image that usually means planes only. When complete, the current view is saved to the print layer. As demonstrated, the analysis is defined on the two layers. The first layer is used for the analysis construction and the second one is used to print the analysis or to export it to a spreadsheet application. The definition of an analysis type is concluded by assigning normal values to the measurements.